Hey everybody, I'm Molly A from Girl Meats Farm and today I'm going to show you how to make sweet potato knishes. Knishes are hearty filled pastries that are typically filled with potatoes or veggies or meat. The dough is chewy and wraps all around the filling that peeks out on top. And I'm going to show you how to make my sweet potato version. Okay, so if you're baking along with me, make sure your oven is preheating to 400 degrees and get a sheet pan ready. To start, let's make our dough. Get a big bowl and add one and three quarters of a cup of flour to it. And then add two teaspoons of sugar. And a teaspoon of kosher salt. Next, grab your measuring cup and add a half cup of water and a quarter cup of neutral oil. And grab a rubber spatula, mix up your dry ingredients just to combine. And then mix in your wet ingredients. So you'll mix this up to form a dough and then you're going to knead it until it's smooth and slightly sticky. This is just a super simple dough and it's all purpose so you can make any kind of knish with this dough. Mix it until everything is combined, and then we're gonna turn it out onto our work surface and knead it. And you can have some flour standing by in case your dough starts to get a little sticky. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to knead dough by hand. So dust your work surface, and then to knead it, just press it with the palm of your hand, fold it over, give it a little turn, and then press it again, and just keep repeating that process. And this develops the gluten, so you have a nice chewy dough, and it also softens it and brings everything together. Okay, so these knishes are inspired by my favorite knish in New York. I used to live on the Upper West Side and there was a place there that would have sweet potato knishes that were so sweet. I almost felt like I was eating a donut when I would eat them. They were so good and hearty and perfect for strolling around and snacking. Okay, so as you're kneading your dough, you can dust it with a little flour to make it easier to work with. Try not to dust it with too much flour though, otherwise your dough will get dry. But just keep on working it. It's a nice little arm workout, make you earn your knishes. This is a really lovely smooth dough to work with. As you work it, it's gonna get smoother and smoother. Okay, once your dough is looking really nice and smooth, you can stretch it into a ball by tucking the ends under. And now we're gonna let it rest. Letting it rest will allow the glutens to relax and it'll make it easier to roll out once it gets time to form our knishes. So wrap it in some plastic wrap. And then set this aside while you mix up your filling. Okay, grab your bowl of sweet potatoes. This is a great way to use up leftover mashed sweet potatoes. And these have just been boiled until tender and then mashed. And now melt four tablespoons of butter, and you can do that in the microwave or in a cute little butter warmer like this. Let's grab some heavy cream. And while you're at it, grab an egg. Okay, now we're ready to make the filling. Okay, so to your sweet potatoes, add three tablespoons of heavy cream. This will make the filling really creamy and good. Season with a few pinches of kosher salt. Sweeten it with a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. The molasses-y flavor in brown sugar goes so nicely with the sweet potato flavor. Okay, and now let's add our spices. So add two teaspoons of cinnamon. This filling is loaded with warm spices that just scream fall and coziness. Add half a teaspoon of cloves. Mm. And then a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Check to see if your butter is melted. Oh yeah, that's looking good. 
That's perfect. Okay, add most of this. Reserve a tablespoon of butter though. We're gonna use that last tablespoon for the topping. So just set this aside for now. Okay, now mix up your filling. Mix it up until it's all combined. Mm. These are basically mini sweet potato pies that we're making. Okay, so these are not rocket science. You can switch up the fillings. You could make a savory filling if you want. Maybe do just like mashed potatoes and cheese or some spices. You could do different veggies. You could do like potato and spinach would be really good. You could do seasoned ground beef. There are so many different things that you can make knishes with. And if you guys want at this point, you could take a taste of this filling and make sure that all the seasonings are where you want them to be. If you want to add a little more cloves or nutmeg, add a little more cloves or nutmeg. If you want it to be sweeter, add more sugar. I'm gonna do that. Mmm. This is perfectly sweet, just where I want it. Okay, so the filling is prepared, and now let's make our topping. So grab a smaller bowl, and then also grab a cup of chopped pecans. These are gonna be a nice crunchy topping for the knishes. Add the remaining tablespoon of butter, and some cinnamon. A couple pinches of salt and then sweeten it with some brown sugar. And just stir this to combine. Whenever I'm thinking of recipes, I love to combine a variety of textures. So with these, the outside dough is gonna be chewy after it bakes, the inside is gonna be soft and fluffy, and then the top is gonna be crunchy and nutty. It's gonna be so delicious. Okay, the topping is ready to go. Let me just tidy up a little. And now the last thing before we assemble is let's make our egg wash. So grab a small bowl and your egg. You can crack the egg in. And then add a splash of water. And whip it up. And this egg wash is gonna act as the glue that holds our knishes together, and it's also gonna get brushed around the outside to make them shiny. Okay, and now grab your dough. And it's time to assemble. So unwrap your dough. You could dust your work surface with a little more flour. And I'm just gonna have this little cup of flour standing by in case the dough gets too sticky. I'm just gonna work with half of my dough for now. And now I'll divide this into six pieces to make six medium-sized knishes. So to do that, I just like to roll it out into a big fat snake and divide it in half, and then divide each half into thirds. So now you have six even pieces. And now stretch these pieces into balls, which will make it easier to roll out perfect circles. And just tuck the ends under and pinch them on the bottom. Place them down like that. This dough is so nice and soft. Do you guys feel that? Knishes are basically like big baked dumplings. And I'm obsessed with dumplings. So, you know I love these. And these are not very difficult. It's a really simple dough, really simple filling. And I'll show you, it's gonna be so much fun to mold these. Okay, now grab a rolling pin. I'm using this small tapered rolling pin. I feel like I get more control with it. And now dust your surface with a little more flour and then pat out a ball of dough 
and then use your rolling pin to roll it into a thin circle that's about six or seven inches in diameter. And I like to rotate it every so often to make sure that it's not sticking to the work surface and also so that I can get an evenly shaped circle. So if it ever starts to stick to your rolling pin or to your work surface, just dust it with more flour. Okay, how are your circles looking? Are they looking good? It's time to fill. Grab a pastry brush and your egg wash and brush it all around the edges. And this is gonna be the glue that helps the knishes hold their shape. Okay, now place a big pile of filling in the centers. And I like using a scoop for this so that all the knishes are evenly sized. of flatten out your filling a little bit so it's kind of just a big thick patty of filling in the middle of the dough and now to shape your knishes fold up the dough and pleat it almost as if you're making a galette and they're supposed to be a little rustic okay give the sides a little hug and let some of the sweet potato filling peek out the top it'll be really pretty that way Okay, so again, just start at the top. Give them a hug. And now let's transfer to the sheet tray. And the parchment will prevent the knishes from sticking. And now transfer your knishes. And you can use your bench scraper or a spatula to help them up. They're basically handheld pies. Okay, let's keep on going filling our knishes. The best way to get better is with practice. Okay, the last one. Now, before they go in the oven, let's brush them with some egg wash. And egg wash will make them extra pretty and shiny around the outside. So just brush on a thin, even layer. You don't want to add too much egg wash, otherwise it could burn on the pan. Oops, like I just did. You could just brush that back on. Okay, now before they get baked, let's add our crunchy, nutty topping. Just add a handful right on top. And in the oven, this is gonna crisp up. This is gonna be the perfect touch. Gorgeous. Beautifully rustic. See, that wasn't so difficult. 
Now bake these at 400 degrees for 20 minutes until they're browned. These sweet potato knishes look beautiful. I hope yours turned out just as well. Okay, I have to sneak a taste. Mmm, they're so cute. I love the way the crust holds its shape in the oven. Okay, here I go. They're a little warm. Mmm, mmm. The dough is so satisfyingly chewy, and the innards are perfectly spiced and so sweet, and I love that crunchy topping. Mmm. I hope you're enjoying these as much as I am. Keep on conditioning, you guys. Mm -hmm.